watching Morning at NTV this fine Monday. It seems my intention is working because the other day I walked into this bank and I said, I'd like to understand more about banking. See, I'm old school, unlike you who's old, tech savvy, and you know what to do. I'm still the person who goes to a bank and thinks only certain things can be done with your bank and that's it. You can put in money and wait when you need it. Turns out your money can do a lot more for you and turns out you can do so many more things with your bank, especially if you just have a mobile phone. Imagine that. Joining me to talk about Digi Cashback, we'll explain what that is. But uh, please welcome Veronica Sentongo, your head of digital banking at Stambic. And mm -hmm. I have Ronnie Muganzi, who's head of agent banking. We'll, we'll get the difference of these two. That's obvious, digital banking. Let's start with what agent banking is. Mm -hmm. Good morning, uh, everyone who's tuned in. Uh, my name is Ronnie Muganzi. Um, agent banking, briefly, is uh, when banks contract uh, third-party suppliers, mm -hmm. businesses. Uh, in terms of uh, profile, these are businesses that are involved in two fast-moving consumer goods. Mm -hmm. So the banks go on and contract them to offer banking services on their behalf. The bouquet of services that uh, they offer has been defined. Okay. Somebody can go and uh, deposit school fees, mm -hmm. deposit money into your personal account. You could withdraw cash uh, okay. from your personal account. As well, you could open an account from uh, uh, the agent location oh. if, you, if you are uh, prospecting to become mm -hmm. a customer of that bank. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, for Stanbic Bank, we've been on this journey for seven months now. Oh, uh, so it's relatively new. Yeah, relatively mm -hmm. new. We have over a thousand locations uh, right now across the uh, across the country. Of agent bank. agent locations, okay. yes, okay. and these agents now are able to provide basic services mm -hmm. as defined by the Financial Institutions Act mm -hmm. uh, of 2017. Okay. Yes. So uh, these people were banking. I am very worried about these big words. So as long as you have a duka, a shop, you know, those are the ones. Eh? Absolutely. So mm. there's a sign, I'm assuming, yes. that I will know this is the person. Yes. So you're saying I can open my account there, so I can fill in the forms, whatever is needed, and that's it. They'll take it to the bank and give me... Absolutely. Things like mm. my ATM is mm. old, I need mm. a new one. <laughs> <laughs> can I do those things <laughs> with the agent banking? Or that's okay, so, so by definition, uh, we've... Uh, We've sort of uh, defined the services and mm. we've put them out there at the agent okay. location. So if I can so see the list of things, I can do that. Yes. So mm. what you've done ideally is given me the easy things that I need to do. Pay yes. school fees for my child, my mm. yaka bill, mm. my water bill, mm. you know, simple things. Mm. I have money, I want to take mm. it to the bank, but the bank is mm. eh, 45 minutes away, I can just do it. Yes. Here. Fantastic. We've um, sort of listened to our customers and over the years they've talked about the time they take at the bank. Yes. And all they need is convenience. Mm -hmm. And these transactions are basic if you think about them. Mm -hmm. Pay school fees, deposit money to my mm -hmm. personal account. So right now that we've given them agents across the country, mm -hmm. these are also our customers as well, by the way. So they relate to the bank. Mm -hmm. So they will be able to provide those services. Yeah. And over time, we will see that the customer will be very, very happy with the convenience that uh, the solution. So Ronnie, mm -hmm. seven months in, is it working? Ah, the feedback is yeah. great. Feedback is great. We have uh, good stories coming from, let's say, outside uh, Kampala. Mm -hmm. People uh, now c don't have to travel so many kilometers yeah. to, the, to the branches we have up country. Here in Kampala, the, uh, the SMEs who used to come to the bank and queue up, they can now go and do small transactions. Mm -hmm. They want to uh, send for more products. Mm -hmm. uh, they can just go to the agent, deposit the money, mm -hmm. and make a transfer to their supplier. So it is working. It, the feedback is actually fantastic. Okay. So yeah. if, if you are thinking, I, have a, I want to pay Yaka for like 30000 that's even mm. worse. I, I'm <laughs> afraid of going in front of an agent <laughs> bank. People say, yeah, only 30000 <laughs> I think that's where Veronica's segment then comes <laughs> in, because then you, you have even more convenience. Mm -hmm. So digital banking, I mean, we, we've all heard about it. Some are accessing it. Most of us, who you can go online, see your bank balance and get out but there's a lot more than just checking your balance with digital banking oh yes um, definitely so much more mm -hmm. um, like Ronnie said we've listened to our customers and we know exactly what they want mm -hmm. they want to be able to access their money whenever they can um, in whatever form that they can mm -hmm. without actually coming into the branch and lining up. Mm -hmm. Like you said, for a small, uh, if you want to make a small payment maybe of 10,000 shillings and you have to spend one hour um, driving or walking to the branch mm -hmm. and then lining up, why not just use your mobile phone? Yeah. 
Um, so we have different products for different customers. If you want to make a payment, pay your water, pay your mm -hmm. electricity, pay your school fees, you can do that. If you want to pay your bills, you can also use the platform. If you, say, have to pay your rent and, you are, and your landlord is knocking at your door, you can just do it very quickly. <laughs> and then he gets an SMS yes. saying, mm -hmm. money paid immediately. Mm -hmm. um, it brings a lot of convenience. And I think that's the running message that you'll see from Stan Beck Uganda this year. We are bringing the bank closer to, to you. you. Mm -hmm. So we have the agents um, mm -hmm. through agent banking. And through digital banking, you can use your mobile phone, you can use your laptop, you're able to actually send money mm -hmm. and also receive money. If you do not bank with us, maybe I want to send my money home, um, maybe to, to, to Hoima, let's yeah. say to Hoima. And uh, the person I'm sending it to is not banked with us, mm -hmm. but they can access an ATM. We have a product called Instant Money, where I, can just, I just get your phone number mm -hmm. um, and then I send you a voucher and okay. you're able to go to our ATM, put in the voucher, and mm. be able to withdraw for free. Is it? So yeah. it's at zero cost. Yeah. It's only me who's the person sending. Sending the be, money. Mm -hmm. Who will be charged. Mm -hmm. And it's a maximum of 1,000 shillings. OK. That's yeah. the, the, the charge. charge. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of me who can go on and log in be able to access the entire interface and know what I'm doing. Then there's a group of people who might not necessarily be tech savvy to understand that platform. Mm -hmm. You have another way for them to access it. Yes, so that's mobile banking. Mm -hmm. So we have different customers. Some customers have smartphones, but are not tech savvy. With that, yes. Others, <laughs> <laughs> others, <Very true. laughs> others don't have smartphones and they don't have access to data. Mm. So using mobile banking, if you're a standard bank customer right now and you dial star 290 hash, you'll be able to log on and be able to access your banking. Mm -hmm. if, you aren't, um, if you aren't registered for digital banking, you can still register immediately from the oh. comfort of your home. And then you call into triple C so that we can do some validation to mm -hmm. make sure it's you. One key thing for us is security. Yes. Are we making sure that our customers are safe to bank? So once you call in, we validate that it's you, you're able to transact immediately without even coming into the branch. Debank for me, the, the, the myths around uh, banking, using my phone or my laptop or whatever, I'm always wary of, is somebody watching? <laughs> if, it's, uh, if it's on Wi-Fi, is somebody going to log in for me next time? Mm -hmm. Is my money going? Is, it's, and I'm not alone. Yes. There are a lot of people who feel like the online space we should be afraid of. Um, in terms of safety features, what can you tell us? So security is twofold. And it's, I, I would compare it to security at your home. Mm -hmm. At security at your home, you have maybe the police, the army, the, securities, um, the security crew, and they protect you from the outside. outside yes. But then you also have to protect yourself. Don't leave your car open. Don't <laughs> leave your <laughs> gate open. Mm. Don't um, leave your valuables in full view of the customers. Yes. Let's translate that to mobile um, digital banking. We'll start with how we protect you as a customer. We have a digital response hub 24-7. Mm -hmm. They sit and they're monitoring and making sure that your accounts are safe. 24-7? 24-7. Veronica, you're saying no matter what time. No matter what time. There's always somebody time, there to monitor. Yeah. There is somebody making okay. sure that you are safe. And what they're doing is seeing, is there abnormal activity on your account? Has your, has your account, maybe your app, if you're using our Standback app, has it been used on a different device in a different location? Mm -hmm. Let's say you are here right now at, um, in Kampala, and then all of a sudden in five minutes, we see that it's being used in Kuwait. Mm -hmm. You haven't informed us that you're traveling, mm. so then we, do a dis we call you immediately to make sure that you are okay and that your account is okay. okay. If, your card is, is, if you use your card in a different location, the same thing will happen. Another thing that we do is velocity monitoring. So if you typically transact five times in a day, mm -hmm. a certain amount, and all of a sudden we see a spike, we do the oh, same thing. Okay. We call you, make sure so that you So that's part answer. of abnormal behavior. Yes. If all of a sudden, um, if every other time I withdraw 200,000, yes. and today it's 2 million, mm -hmm. for exactly. example, or 20 million, exactly. then it's cause for alarm. It that is. means what, you call me or you stop the transaction? 
So we call you first, okay. because it could be just that you've yeah, had I a mean, win for me. I need mean, <laughs> the 20 million. But <laughs> um, yes. yes, and then once we are, uh, we are certain that it's you, because of course we have your information, there's knowing your customer, we call it KYC. Mm -hmm. Once we do that validation and we make sure that it's you, then we just add that to what we call your new normal. Okay. But once we are unable to contact you, yes. it's a cause for alarm, we temporarily block your account until you can confirm to mm. us that this is normal, mm. yes. Okay, so what if I have called you, Veronica? What yes. if I have said I'm traveling to Kuwait? Yes. What if you're very sure my normal transactions can go about five million, six million? Mm. And for some reason, someone, you know, logs into my account and, I mean, because I feel like you can get that. What if it's now six million or all my money is gone? Would you just brush it off as, He's in Kuwait or she's in Kuwait and I'm, I know she's in Kuwait. Or sometimes you're able to say, okay, this feels a bit off and call again. So what we have for th in that instant mm. is you as a customer set your own daily transaction okay. limit. And this is make, making sure that in the event that something happens and your account is compromised, mm -hmm. there is only so much that can be mm. accessed. Mm. So in the oh event that that oh happens okay. and we unfortunately aren't able to pick it up, they will never be able to take the full amount as long as your transaction limits okay. are set. Okay. And we make so there's no such thing as wiping out my account? No. Well, if your account, <laughs> if your account balance is less, <laughs> <laughs> if if it's right. less yeah. than your daily transaction yeah. limit, then that of course yeah, if could if happen. If my limit is five million, <laughs> I have five million, they wiped me out. <laughs> but say I have 50 million and my daily limit is five million. Only five million. Only, five Only million. the five million yes. will go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Point of it, just put your <laughs> limit at 10,000 <laughs> shillings. That way you're always safe. But, but um, maybe just to continue, yes. I spoke about how we protect Outside. you. Outside. Yes. yes. Um, we also have a monitoring to make sure, in case you use your online banking on a website that has been compromised, yes. and come and try and log on, we immediately detect and call you up and take you through the steps on how to clean your device and make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah. But on your side, you also have to protect yourself. Yes. Never share your password. Make sure that your phone does have a password, a phone mm -hmm. lock. And if at any time you lose your phone, please report it to the police, to your mobile telecom company, but also to the bank mm -hmm. immediately. You spoke about an app. Yes. And so, th so there's, first of all, there's online banking is not the mobile, it's, it's the mobile. Let's uh, just, so there's, uh-huh, break it down for let me. Let me, ex okay, yes. I'll break it down. Guys, I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll speak about the different channels we have. Mm -hmm. We have mobile banking, it's twofold. If you don't have a smartphone, mm -hmm. you can dial star 290 hash mm -hmm. and you're able okay. to transact. If you do have a smartphone, you can download our Standback app from okay. any Google or um, um, Apple store, mm -hmm. and you're able to use a, a simple interface to be mm. able okay. to transact. So that's mobile banking. That's mobile, mobile banking. banking. Okay. Mm. Then we go to online banking. Mm -hmm. We have three types of mm. Mm. online mm. banking. So one is for our daily retail customer who's just using it to transact. Mm -hmm. You just go to our website, www.standbackbank.co.ug and click on online banking. It's just for somebody who's doing normal transactions. Oh, okay, okay. The other two are for our business customers mm -hmm. who have more complex um, demands. If you are transacting as a business, you have to initiate the transaction and receive approvals. Mm -hmm. So those are the different um, interfaces that we add mm -hmm. onto it so mm -hmm. that you're able to transact as a business. Okay. So there's enterprise online, Mm -hmm. which is um, less complex, and then business online, which is for the large corporates okay. who want to transact. All right. Yes. So you'll be glad I asked this because now you know where you lie. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a promotion <laughs> where you could win money, and I didn't want you saying, but they didn't say, so is it yes. me or is it my neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> who is eligible for mm. this money? So mm. now that you know where you are, don't say mm. online banking, mobile. Now you know. If you access star 290 hash, hash yes. and also if you can log on to, to the, the app, app mm. exactly. then you're mobile yes. then online they've broken that down as well so now we have digi cash back yes. it's a promotion yes. uh, did it just start today so yes woo this woo. morning <laughs> 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 unveiling it <laughs> <Yes. Yes. laughs> tell me about the promotion 
So we are looking at making sure that uh, we can reward our customers mm -hmm. for using the channels. We have invested a lot in making sure we have a solution for our customers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with the Digi Cashback promotion, we have 100 million for 100 winners. Mm -hmm. Starting today until December, every day we'll have one lucky winner. Mm -hmm. And this, wi um, this winner will be rewarded for transacting on either digital or agent mm. banking. Mm. Oh, okay. So it's not just your end, also the agent yes. banking exactly. as well. Okay. Exactly. Mm. So you can pay your bills, you can send money, mm -hmm. you can also get a loan. So we oh. have a new product called the Instant Cash Advance, mm -hmm. where you can get up to two million. You can borrow up to two million from the bank mm -hmm. and pay it back within 30 days. Mm -hmm no security, no mm -hmm. need to come to the bank, no paperwork. Mm -hmm. We just have a pre-scoring pre where you get a pre-approved limit. What we do is we look at your transactional behavior, mm -hmm. see if you're not a risk to the bank, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and then offer you a certain amount of money that you can pay mm -hmm. back yeah. within 30 days. So if you do that, we reward you with one million shillings. Okay, so wh I think what you're doing with that is uh, it, your only collateral security is your account, yes. in other words. And because okay. then, then, of course, your patterns, uh, your behaviors, your transaction behaviors will then be your extra collateral. They'll then determine how much you can get. Yes. So, so Digi Cashback, so you're saying that for people who are using agent banking, if I open an account, if I pay a bill, whatever it is that I do, is this just for Kampala or are we? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, so agent banking is uh, a solution that is going to cut across the everywhere. entire country. So entire the promotion country. is to also yes. cut across everywhere. Yes, because agency banking has uh, one leg of financial inclusion, mm -hmm. uh, yes. whereby you see that uh, there are people living outside uh, the, the, the busy uh, mm -hmm. areas, uh, busy towns in Uganda, but they need access to financial yes. services. And so a, an agent just next to them mm -hmm. makes that possible. Okay. So there's that angle of financial inclusion. Mm -hmm. Then there's the angle of uh, the convenience it brings to everybody just next door. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've said that bringing the bank closer to you. Yeah. So everyone who goes to access that uh, channel and that uh, transacts from there is a potential winner in the DG cashback. So I'm not filling in anything. I'm not writing somewhere for me to be part of this. I'm not popping anything. You know, you pop balloons and <laughs> stuff. So we're not doing any of that. <laughs> no. Just transact starting today. Starting well, if you've already one. transacted, I'm, I'm guessing you're already <laughs> part of it. <laughs> so it's, it's, is that one winner a week, a day? So it's one winner a day. One day, winner yeah. a, day. a day. So yes. the one winner takes home how much? One million shillings. One million, one million yes. shillings. So then after you cut, cut off the money, how much are they really taking? <laughs> one million. <laughs> one oh, million. So mm. my yes. one million is my one million. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. One million. So um, I'm, I'm wondering how, uh, you said it was giving back, yes. which is called DG Cash Back anyways. And I'm wondering about how Stambic Bank has sat down and put down an agenda, especially in digitizing banking and how this then fits in. Well, Basically, like I said, we have different things that we have done to enhance our platforms. Mm -hmm. We received a lot of customer feedback where our customers were asking to make it easier for them to mm -hmm. bank. So we started our journey in actually in, in the 1990s with our first ATM um, and built our fleet. We also laid mobile banking and all the other mm -hmm. channels have, have, um, have actually come up now. So we are at the point where we're saying, okay, we have this whole fleet of products for our customers. How can we let them know how to use them and what they can gain by using them? Mm -hmm. And then how can we reward them for actually doing this? So yeah. is this sort of more of, yes, you're giving back, but you're also using the, the time to sort of um, educate yes. a lot mm -hmm. more of your customers about the products. So if, uh, do you have, if I have an account with you, is there possible that uh, possibility that someone has an account but is not online? Yes, a hundred percent. So that's when we speak about education using our social media, mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of information mm. about. And we've already started with good financial behavior, how to make sure that you're able to save more, mm -hmm. spend less. Mm. Um, we have also started with how to keep your bank, your do safe banking. Okay. Um, and then now as we launch the campaign, mm -hmm. there'll be a lot of information in the media, in the branches, mm -hmm. and also on your social media and just letting you know what to do and how to win. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so for somebody who has an account with Stambic right now and they download the app, mm -hmm. Um, there's no other stuff they have to do. They can do all the put the, all the information on Sammy because I know with 
mobile banking, I sort of need a password, I need to sort of register mm. at the bank, and yes. what happens with the app? Same thing? So with the, um, you have to have registered for digital banking, oh, okay. and then you, when you download the app, you enter your internet banking credentials, which you should have received when you registered. When you were registered. Yes. Tell me this is the thing where I don't have to have 10 passwords for 10 ways for me to... Please, please, Veronica. Huh? Uh, well, when it comes to passwords... <laughs> Tell us you can take as it. long as you don't write them down. <laughs> Do not write them down. <laughs> but when it comes to passwords, it's not it's not good to have the same password for different things, yeah. which is what, what I know I'm a lot of people do. But for the app, we have the fingerprint enablement. So if oh. your yes. Yeah. So if your phone is fingerprint enabled, you only mm -hmm. create a password and use it right at the beginning to validate to your, your fingerprint, account. and then after that, you just use your fingerprint um, mm. on your Android or an iPhone or in order mm. to access. Mm. Do you know how people don't really like uh, having their fingerprints on their phone? Because, I mean, as long as you're alive, someone can just... <laughs> 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 as long as you, you have blood flow <laughs> in your finger, it can work. can access it. No, <laughs> with my banking. I'm not sure. So what, what can I access on the app? Is it the same um, interface as the online banking, or the app is quite different? Well, they, their look and feel is the yeah. same, mm -hmm. but we make the app much, much simpler to use mm. oh than okay. online banking. Right. People who are going on to online banking are typically doing a bit more complex transactions, mm. setting up beneficiaries, um, doing express payments, mm. um, foreign currency payments. On the app, it's typically tap and go. I want to do something quickly and carry mm. on. Okay, mm. so I'm guessing the app also has a lot more information of other products. Yes, Versus it does. if I go into online banking, yes. I'm really just, mm. it's my page, mm. I'm looking at my work mm. and going. So in case you have any questions on other products, you can do that. So I'm looking at some of the things you can do through the digital channels, and there's everything from paying your bills, school fees, you can send money to more, see, I've never understood that. So I can send, I can take money from my bank account to my mobile money number. So you can send money from your account to any mobile number. Any? Any mobile number. Right. K2, um, Afrocell, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. any mobile number. Mm. And what happens is they receive an SMS with a PIN. Oh, a, okay. and, and you send them a voucher number. Actually, mm. it's the reverse. Mm -hmm. They receive the voucher and you receive the PIN. Mm. And then they take the two bits of secret information to the ATM, enter their mobile number, the voucher number, and the PIN and withdraw cash immediately. Okay, so we were having this conversation off air and I was saying that I'm one of those people who has never done the whole paying of bills. F outside of school fees, I don't pay bills using the bank. Mm. Mm. And you're saying it's actually cheaper. It's actually <laughs> much, much, <laughs> much, cheaper. much, much cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, if you think about simple things like paying electricity, mm. the maximum charge that we have is 1,000 shillings. So if you have a bill of 5 million, you're going to pay a charge of 1,000. And that's if you are hey. a pay-as-you-go customer. Mm. So we have, we introduced what we call the power of choice, and maybe Ronnie can speak more mm. about power the power of choice. Of choice. Yes. yes. Um, uh, thanks, Veronica. So on power of choice, we, we've given the power back to our customer, where we've said that uh, in terms of uh, the account you have with the bank, mm -hmm. would you like to have a bundled option or would you like to pay as you transact? Oh, right, so right. So many That's customers, there are those customers who have a very, very busy accounts. Mm -hmm. They do transactions on a daily. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if they opt to pay as they transact, maybe the fees will be higher. higher. So yeah. they, they opt in for a, 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 a bundle, bundle mm -hmm. at, the, at the month end. Then there are those who do mention or two. Once in a while. Maybe pay bills monthly. Mm. And then they would like just to sort of... Uh, be charged for that. For that, I specifically, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, so that gives the power back to the customer. You sort of uh, pay for what you feel you should be paying. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. So you've been wondering why I let them explain and go on and on about what you can do <laughs> online and with agent banking. Because if you do any of the things we have talked about today, you could win a, it's a million shillings every single day for a person. They have a hundred million shilling all bund hundred million shillings all bundled up. So you could win. It started today. So any Stanvik branch, agent banking, mobile, digital, wherever, any transaction, you could win yourself a million shillings. Digital. It's going on. Sorry? 
any digital transaction. Any digital transaction yes. and yes. agent, and agent, agent banking. banking. Any of the two. That's just why mm. we explained mm. as much as we could so you can understand it. Mm. It's DG Cashback. So in case you are a bit confused by any, I think go to any of the branches. They yes. should yes. be able to explain mm. that yes. to you. Veronica, Ronnie, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Thank you for having us. Mm. Yes, I've understood now. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pay my bill <laughs> through the bank. This through. is much, much mm. cheaper. Yes. That's it for DG Cashback and Take Note. Have yourselves a good morning. Thank you.